graphing linear functions example 2. This time we're doing the exact same thing except we're drawing the graph of a different equation. This time it's y equals negative 3x plus 1. So we're going to start with the same numbers as before in my x row. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1 and 2. Most of the time these are the numbers we use. Alright, so our formula looking at uh, column 1. Our formula is y equals negative 3x plus 1. So we're going to go negative 3 times x or times negative 2 plus 1. And this one's going to come out to um, 7. Okay. Now let's go to the next column. This time it's y equals negative 3 times negative 1 plus 1. Since x is negative 1 this time. And this will give us 4. And then we're going to go negative 3 times 0 plus 1, which is 1. Negative 3 times 1 plus 1, which will be uh, negative 2. And then negative 5. Okay. So we want to draw our graph now from our table of values. And we just go column by column. In this column, when x is negative 2, y is 7. So negative 2, 7. We don't have a 7, so we just go one box above the 6. When x is negative 1, y is 4. Negative 1, 4. Then we go 0, 1, 1, negative 2. And 2, negative 5. And it looks like it's forming a nice straight line. Let's find our line here. There we go. You should always make sure you draw lines to show that um, this is a nice straight line that goes on forever. And we show it goes on forever by drawing our arrows at each end.